A Tale of Two Posters by Yanif Design. Another golden age of poster art began in San Francisco in the mid-1960s when Wes Wilson, Alton Kelly, Stanley Mouse, Rick Griffin, and Victor Moscoso brought psychedelic art to rock music and created a new genre, the rock poster. Combining day-glow colors, optical effects, eclectic imagery that often incorporated nudity and drug references, and highly stylized lettering, the psychedelic rock poster communicated and challenged. When David Edward Bird was asked to create a rock poster for Bill Graham's newly opened Fillmore East in New York City in 1969, he looked to San Francisco for his inspiration, and he drew upon that tradition for the next three years as the Fillmore's house artist. His design for the original poster for the Woodstock Festival also relied on the ornate designs of the West Coast psychedelic posters, complete with a nude woman, cupids, hearts and arrows, and flowers. The festival promoters, however, wanted something more direct, a poster that listed the band's schedule to play and no nudity. Arnold Skolman, whose background was book design and commercial art, gave them what they wanted and more. With his simple design, it featured a dove perched on a guitar and the words, Three Days of Peace and Music. That design instantly became the logo for the world's most famous rock festival and changed poster history in the process. <laughs> 